And while Australians scramble to get vaccinated against COVID-19 or aren't scrambling fast enough, it depends which way you look at it, one of the world's top development experts is urging wealthy countries to share vaccines with poorer nations. Dr Rajiv Shah is president of the Rockefeller Foundation and a former head of the US Agency for International Development. He says global vaccination is not only an ethical priority, but it's really the only realistic way out of this pandemic. Dr Rajiv Shah is speaking with Andrew West. Well, I think the real ethical question is whether lower income nations and the people who live in them are going to be able to experience growth and safety in their economies and in their health in a manner that is akin to what wealthier nations that have had access to vaccines on an accelerated basis are in many cases already experiencing. And I think many people fail to understand that really since World War II, through international agreements, through globalization and trade, through investments in international cooperation and development, the world has been converging. Lower income nations have been growing faster. People have been moving out of poverty. Fewer children die of simple diseases that should be eradicated today. And now for the first time, really in 60 or 70 years, we're potentially looking at a decade of divergence that will push half a billion people back into poverty and that will hold back the hopes and aspirations of a few billion people that live in lower income countries because they're not getting access to vaccines fast enough and because their nations are not able to invest in an equitable and ethical recovery that includes everyone. Would you say that developed nations have been hoarding vaccines? Well, hoarding makes it sound very intentional. I think what happened is, and what continues to happen, is wealthier nations and frankly a subset of wealthy nations within the community of industrialized countries uh, went out and did contracts with manufacturers at a high price point before they understood that the vaccines would be safe and effective. And as a result, they got the first few billion doses of vaccine that are going to be made available. And as a result, other nations then have to wait in line and hope that they'll get their chance after richer countries have gone first at vaccinating their populations. To some extent, that's unfortunately to be expected. But the real challenge is, you know, do we have a global commitment to pay for and in a determined way ensure that the entire planet achieves a 60 or 70 percent vaccination target so that economies can safely reopen everywhere and not just in wealthier countries. And that's the part that I think we have a lot more work to do. Isn't there a fundamental question of economic, and let me put it bluntly here, economic greed? Because doesn't the world have to tackle the patents that uh, these pharmaceutical companies have historically applied to their products, which has made it very hard to produce low cost versions? And this crisis has only amplified that. Yes, I think that's right. Uh, you know, the reality is we're going to have many, many more pandemic threats. We already have hundreds of epidemics that break out every year, any of which could become global pandemics. And when that event happens, next time we should have vaccine manufacturing that exists in Africa, that exists in Latin America, that exists is twice as significant in India. All around the world, nations and continents should have their guaranteed access to vaccines that can be manufactured quickly and frankly can be done in a domestic or regional basis. So to achieve that goal, you do need some sharing of technology, investments in distributed manufacturing capacity, and all the other things that are discussed in the context of WTO agreements and all the rest of it. Dr. Rajiv Shah from the Rockefeller Foundation, and you can hear more of that discussion with Andrew West on the Religion and Ethics Report at 5.30 this afternoon, right here on RN.